A gold mine in Nova Scotia is turning a trend on its head. Instead of moving west, workers are now heading east for jobs in the resource sector. But not everyone's happy with the success of the development. Brett Ruskin takes us into that mine. For years, Brandon Rigdale flew in and out of Fort McMurray for work. Like I said, everybody's told the same thing. Like, if you want to make money, that's where you go. Turns out you can make it right here in Nova Scotia, so. Might look like Fort Mac, big trucks, deep pits, but they're not here for black gold. They're here for gold gold. We mine the microscopic uh, gold outside the quartz veins that you can barely see. It's all melted down into million-dollar bars like this one and sold to the Canadian Mint. Born and raised in Nova Scotia, geologist Gorman Sears worked all over the world before coming back home. Uh, Nova Scotia wasn't even really on my radar. Um, it was, there was not very much employment and what was here didn't pay that well compared to abroad and other places in Canada. This mine is creating jobs here for local workers in Nova Scotia. It's also paying royalties to the government on each ounce of gold mined, money that could be spent elsewhere, like on roads and schools and hospitals. But not everyone in this area is happy with the mine. John Perkins went to a public session last week to ask about a planned expansion of the mine operations. We would like to see um, a serious look at alternatives. The room was asked to hold their questions until the end of the presentation. And the audience basically said, no, we want to ask and have answered our questions as they come up, and we're going to do that. The RCMP says they received a call about a disturbance at the meeting. And the Maori guy came in and was pointed to me by um, the person who turned out to be the security guard, and then the rest is on the video from there. We asked mine officials for an interview, but they provided a statement saying we regret how the May 23rd meeting unfolded and we are conducting an internal review to understand what happened. We are committed to learning from this and continuing a respectful dialogue with the community. So, Brett, joining me now, a lot to talk more about that. I mean, that's dramatic footage of that meeting, Brett. What do we take away from all of what you've learned here. Well, sure, Heather, there's uh, dramatic footage indeed. And the story really has just those two sides to it. You have the mine that is looking to expand its operations to hire hundreds more workers and bring more Nova Scotians back home here to work these good paying jobs. But of course, on the other side, you have people who oppose the mine who are pointing at this interaction with police as the latest reason why this expansion needs to slow down. Heather. Brett, thank you. Interesting story. Brett Ruskin there in our Halifax newsroom.